back to my channel. I am so excited to be here today over on Instagram. I was chatting with you all that I am putting together a fall capsule wardrobe and you guys are like, please put this on YouTube. We want more YouTube content. So I'm here to deliver that for you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. My name is Alex. I make videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, mom stuff. And lately, if you guys saw my last video, I've really been into kind of changing my whole lifestyle around, especially when we moved to Florida. It's just been inspiring for me to change my life. I feel like we're leveling up here. I turned 30 this year and things are just changing in terms of how I eat, how I dress, what I like to do with my time and what I don't like to do with my time, like just all of it. I feel like we're going through transformation. And a big part of that is now, instead of having this huge closet, we moved from our house in Nashville to this condo here in Florida for a year while we're renovating our new home here in Florida. You guys know we moved. So we love this condo, but we typically would only be here for like, you know, two, three weeks at a time, like maybe 30 days. So we've never like lived here. And so we're going to be living here for almost a year, right? It's already been like five or six months. It's crazy, but it's a lot smaller. And so it inspired me to want to downsize my closet and downsize my wardrobe. Uh, obviously I had to. So right behind me is my closet here. It's a lot smaller. And I also was like, in doing that, I just wanted I wanted it to be easier. I wanted getting dressed to be easier. I wanted it to be simpler, but I wanted cuter outfits. Like I wanted all of it. So I felt like in Nashville, I kind of had my like Nashville style that I wore there, but moving here, the weather is different. The vibe is different. People dress differently here. You guys know, like if you go to different cities, people just dress differently and it's a lot more casual and laid back here. I just got inspired to create a capsule wardrobe. I started it back in the spring. I'll insert some pictures of outfits that I've been wearing over the past few months. And I've loved this little like wardrobe that I put together. Everything misses and mixes and matches well together. Everything fits my body type well. Everything makes me feel good and confident. It's comfortable, they wash and dry well. Like I really loved it. So I wanna do it for fall too. Fall in Florida is obviously different. So if you are somewhere where it starts to get really cold in the fall, just take the overall inspiration of what this is. Oh my God, there's a bird holding a fish right outside the window, like in its mouth, okay. It's distracting, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys. I did a huge haul on Abercrombie because that has surprisingly been one of my favorite places to shop for basics. And I noticed like with a capsule wardrobe, it's a lot more basics. They can be elevated basics, but it's a lot simpler. And then I think you just feel chicer and more put together in basics, at least I do. And I was also kind of having this like, this is a little bit of a tangent, but I was having this hard time being like, okay, I'm in my 30s, I have two kids, like, I just want to dress differently than I did in like my early 20s, right? I want to dress a little bit more elevated, a little bit more timeless. I want my clothes to last me longer. So that's kind of the overall vibe. And I bought this stuff over the weekend. I don't remember everything that I bought, but it was a huge haul. So let's get it out and let's try it all on and put together my fall capsule wardrobe together. So in terms of what I look for with a capsule wardrobe, I look for great basics that will last me a long time that are really good quality, wash and dry well, low maintenance things, like I'm not dry cleaning stuff, very easy things. Um, I also look for stuff that are that is in my color scheme. So for me, it's a lot of creams, whites, tans, but because it is like the cooler months, the fall, winter, I'm gonna be adding in some like blacks and some darker colors too. Um, and then like fit, like I just like things that are easy that I can run around with my kids in. And as far as like my daily wardrobe goes, like I'm not buying stuff that's just for like nights out or like going out on dates and going to dinner. Like that happens sometimes, but like my daily life is what I really need clothes for. And my daily life is hanging out with my kids. I work from home. I go to the grocery store. I run errands. Like it's not this, you know, like lifestyle where I need to be like dressed up in heels and stuff every day. It's just casual, like what I have on today, which I did want to mention because I always get questions about this type of stuff. So these shorts, you see, these are Calia by Carrie. They are from Dick's Sporting Goods. I will try to link them for you guys. I love the color. They're like a buttery yellow color and they're like an athletic short, but they feel a little bit more like like a nicer short. Like I would wear these with like a cute little sandal. I have it on with this Lululemon top today, which I will link to, but just comfortable and cute. But you know, you could wear it on a walk or you could wear it to school to pick up your kids. So I like that. I got a new basic tank. I want to try this on because I've been loving the Skims tank tops, but um, I just wanted a, like a newer version for fall and a couple of different colors. And they're really hard 
to get your hands on those skims one so i have a couple of them but yeah i thought this reminded me of it um but i kind of like the higher back on this one and the lower neck so we'll try that on we'll try that first okay this is really cute i'm liking the quality it's a little thicker i love the neckline because you can wear it with just a regular bra and nothing shows i like the higher back the length is really nice it's not cropped but it's not long either it's like just a perfect length where it like meets at your shorts or your bottoms whatever really nicely so this is the essential scoop neck tank i got it in a medium and i feel like the fit is really well i could have gotten a small too i usually go like small medium just depends tops like this i find tend to be like more fitted and tight and so i prefer to size up but this is really cute i like this this fits perfect i think i got it in a couple colors but let's try it on with some jeans these are the jeans that i got the 90s straight ultra high rise in size 26. okay i don't think i like these jeans actually i feel like they just are a smidge too tight right here they actually like feel fine but i feel like they look a little too tight and I definitely don't want tight jeans. I want like jeans that are really comfortable that I want to wear on the daily. So I forgot, but I did order like the crisscross at the waist so you can see like the buttons kind of over on the side. I, I mean, overall, I do like the fit and they're comfortable. Actually, I actually think they look like really cute from the side. I'm on my TV show so you can see. And from the back, I'll insert a clip so you can see full length. But I just think like right here, they look a little too tight. So maybe I'll size up. I don't know. Everywhere else they fit cute. I think I got the regular length. I know they say like 5'4 and over for the regular length and I'm 5'3, but regular length is usually fine on me. I don't mind that. I mean, they look really cute on. Maybe they'll stretch with time so I wouldn't want to size up. Like they fit really well everywhere else so I wouldn't want to like get a bigger size everywhere. I don't know. They're kind of cute. Maybe they're growing on me. Those were the ultra high rise 90 straight jeans. Okay, so... So I switched to some shorts. These are the high rise dad shorts and the darker wash. And I got a size up. I got these in a 27. I like my shorts looser. I hate when you like sit down and they like dig into your thigh. I just don't think it's flattering and it's not comfortable. And that's my main thing is like, I want my pieces to be comfortable so that I want to wear them just because they're cute. doesn't mean I'm going to wear them. So those jeans I'm going to have to exchange. I just have such a hard time finding jeans because I'm like, I'm in between sizes. I'm not always a 26 and usually 27 is too big. Like these shorts here, uh, they're definitely really big in the back. Like I can fit, you know, two fists worth of space back there. But I know that like when I sit down and I'm walking around, they're more comfortable, but I don't know if they look as flattering, you know, and this is just me chatting with you on camera. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, you want to find pieces that you actually wear. That's, I think, the whole point of a capsule wardrobe and why I wanted to do this is because I'd buy things and I would just, like, settle if it wasn't perfect and I don't like to settle anymore. But into this outfit. So these shorts, I have seen one of my other favorite places to shop at for really great on-trend basics is Dish, D-I-S-S-H. I'm going to be getting some stuff that just hasn't come in yet. But they had this really cute outfit on there where it's, like, these dark wash shorts with a dark wash denim top and I love the look I thought it was cute but I thought I'd try out with these shorts first so these are really cute like I said they're a little bit big but I think on the legs they fit really nice so that's kind of the problem there is like why I'm definitely in between sizes but I think these are cute these are a lot different for me I always wear light wash I can't even remember the last time I wore dark wash it has to be like five or six years so this is a big change but I think it's cute and then this little cardigan I like it a lot it has like these little metal hooks so you can kind of wear it however you want I got this in a couple of colors too but very flattering I'm into this especially with a cami underneath in Florida like I said it gets hot it gets cold when you're inside so it's nice to be able to like have some very lightweight layers on but if you are somewhere where it's colder this could be your base layer right so it's really cute i love gray in the fall i feel like it's cozy another great fall layering piece especially early fall is just an oversized button-up shirt so this is called the oversized poplin button-up shirt in blue stripe i got this in a medium because i didn't know how oversized it was going to be i think it's too oversized I think I'm gonna need to exchange this for a size small, but I really like the quality of this. It's a nice like cotton, cottony feel material. I don't actually know what the material is. I like the color. It's like a, it's like a really nice blue color. It's almost like a navy gray type of blue. It already like looks and feels a little lived in, like in a good way. 
But um, yeah, I definitely think it's a little too big for me. Like I want oversized, but not where it looks like a bathing suit cover up. Could definitely keep this as a cover up and that'd be really cute. But like with an outfit like this, I just feel like it's way, it's way too overpowering. And I want something a little more probably like that. So I think I'll change it for the small, but the blue and white is a nice like fall way to do it instead of always doing like a white button up shirt, which I already have a couple of those from Zara and I love, but I like this colorway too. This next dress is definitely a Florida fall dress. I don't know if this would work everywhere, but it was really cute and I felt like I could get a lot of good use out of it. The corset seemed eyelet mini dress. I got the white in a size small. Okay, so this actually fits a lot better than I thought it was going to. It's really cute. I have this white dress from Everlane that I wore all summer and I love it. I wear it like once a week. It's just a great basic. So I wanted something similar that I could add into the rotation because I have put that dress through the ringer and like, I just feel like I'm constantly washing it and staining it and washing it and staining it. A white dress with kids is hard to keep white. So I wanted kind of one more to add into the mix that wasn't exactly the same, but was still really comfortable to wear you know, just day to day. Like I envision wearing this to like farmer's market or maybe out to lunch, something where I want to be a little bit more dressed up and put together, but still really comfortable. And I could throw one of those cardigans over this. So I love that it has the adjustable straps. That's really nice. This is the dress that I've been like dying to get my hands on. I feel like Abercrombie did it. A couple other stores, maybe like Reformation. I don't know, a couple other stores did dresses like this for the fall. And I've seen it on like Pinterest and Instagram with boots or sneakers and it looks so cute, like a great travel dress, but I don't feel like it's flattering on me. And this is just like the reality of when you buy stuff online, like you just don't know how it's gonna look on your body because usually dresses like this are a no brainer for me. Something that's satiny, silky, mini length, you know, this type of neckline is usually like, yep, I know that's gonna fit and work for my body type. So I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised like the fit is just odd here like it's just too big there and then it just doesn't lay nicely in the stomach area like I feel like dresses like this usually are very flattering in the stomach area so it's great to wear when you're just like I don't know like travel or like on vacation or just like I don't know out and about going to lunch and stuff but I just don't feel like it's super flattering maybe it's just the way that it was like sitting when it got shipped but I don't know. I mean, now that I see it like full length, it is cute. It's really cute. But something's just, something's off right here. That's the main thing. And you wanna be able to not have to wear a bra with this type of dress, but this, it's like gaping right there. It just doesn't fit right. Okay, you guys, that dress was called the Satin Slip Midi Dress in black. And then I also got it in off-white. Oh my God, this was even worse. This looked like you just found it in the attic and it's like a hundred years old. Like, look at that. That is just, I don't even know what I was thinking. I just, I envisioned it way different in my head. I envisioned like city with like boots and a blazer and it just doesn't look that way on. So the same, this is the same, like it just doesn't, it's kind of a similar neckline. Again, usually this is like a no brainer for me. I know this fits my body shape well, but this is just, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it like the material kind of doesn't feel as nice as I felt like it would. The next outfit is actually the next day too. My camera died. So if lighting looks a little different and something looks a little different, sorry about that. But anyways, okay. So this next top, the same one, just in a white color. I really love this one because the buttons are actually rose gold. I don't know if you can tell the little hooks. They're actually rose gold. It's so cute. I love this cream color. This is an outfit that I will literally wear all like the rest of the year. I can see myself wearing this around the holidays. I love like a cozy winter white. I love like this buttery creamy white too, where it's not like stark white. It's a little bit like warmer and cozier. It's just so cute. And I still like an open neck like this. So I can wear necklaces and it feels a little more like Florida appropriate than like a high neck or like a turtleneck. It's just so cute. I could wear a tank top underneath. I could wear it like this. I love this top. So definitely get this top in like multiple colors. It's a great basic and staple and the quality is really nice too. So actually I'm glad that my camera died because yesterday I ended up getting another package delivered from Abercrombie. I guess they had split my order up into two and I didn't even realize because I know I ordered like two different sizes in the shorts and the jeans and I was like that's weird that I wouldn't have ordered two sizes in the jeans and I did. And I'm so disappointed because the 27 
it, it's like kind of the same thing. They fit good everywhere except the upper thighs. Here, they're just way too big. Like if I put my hands in the pockets, like there's just so much like extra fabric here and it's like bunching up. Like I, that's just like not flattering, right? And so I don't know why that's really strange. I feel like I'm kind of like in between sizes. I wish they made like a half size, you know, like they do in shoes, but I don't know. I think these ones are definitely more comfortable. Like when I was talking yesterday or earlier in the video to you guys about how I wanted a pair of jeans that I knew I could just wear like on the daily and were as comfortable as wearing like leggings or sweatpants, these are it. So I, I'm almost tempted to just keep them and like kind of go for that baggy look because they are supposed to be a little bit baggier. These are the 90s relaxed jean in the high rise. So they are supposed to be Relax with the curve love. I wish I had an Abercrombie in store to like go try them on, but returns are really easy with them, so it's no big deal. And that's exactly why I make this video, is so that when you guys are shopping online too, you can kind of have a little guidance. And if you are just always the same size, then just get your size. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Um, the nice thing about them too is that they both had stretch. So you guys saw, honestly, I'm in between sizes. They both fit perfectly fine. They both fit comfortably. It's just a matter of aesthetics. So that's the thing. And I think these are really cute. Like they feel really comfortable. I love the wash. I love where they hit on my waist. You guys hopefully can see in the other little clips that I showed. I really like them. I just feel like something's off right here. You guys tell me, what do you like better, the light wash or the darker wash? Because then that's the one I'll keep. Okay, next up, I picked up a couple cozy sweatshirts, some good basics. I felt like I wear sweatshirts all the time in the evenings, just like lounging around the house. And I felt like my sweatshirts were very just like hodgepodge and like random things that didn't actually fit in well with my aesthetic. And even though I'm typically wearing these like lounging, I'm still like sharing on stories and I still want to feel cute and feel good, especially if I wear this out to run errands or whatever. So. And the weather will cool down like around December, January, you'll definitely want to wear a sweatshirt in the evenings or in the early mornings. So this is cute to have. I really love this. I actually think it's um, unisex. So I feel like Michael would really like this sweatshirt too. This could be a great gift. I actually think I might have bought this in a different color, in the black color last year for Frankie's husband, Brett, for Christmas. Now that I think about it, I think I did like matching sweatpants if it's the same one. I really like the material. It reminds me of like the Essentials hoodies and I think they're really cute. So it kind of looks like you're wearing your boyfriend's or your husband's hoodie. I loved this camel color and it has like this little detail in the back where you can see in the hood. But I think that the nicest part of this is just the material. Like it's a very, it's a very, very soft and like cozy, but not heavy and bulky. Like it's easy to get on and off. I hate sweatshirts that are like stiff. This is already really soft and like movable and cozy. So cute, especially if you're somewhere where it's a little bit cooler. And then I also got it in the gray. This color is really nice too, because it already looks like lived in. I love this type of like heathered gray. So right now I envision I'll probably wear this with that tank top that I showed yesterday. This one, I got it in the white and the tan. So I can envision myself wearing this tank top and then I'll throw the sweatshirt over my shoulders. I'll insert a clip so you guys can see what I mean. But with jeans, throw the sweatshirt over. It's really cute when you're out walking around, but when you go inside and you want it to be a little bit cozier, you can actually put it on and it's nice and cozy and warm. I always have to bring a sweater with me everywhere I go. So I got some good stuff. I will have everything linked down below. Make sure to check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of hanging out with me today. I know it wasn't as like, put together as some of my previous videos are, but I felt like you guys would like this kind of just vlog style, hang out with me, discuss what I'm looking for for my fall wardrobe, try on this haul with me, and we can just hang out together. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see another one kind of now that I have a few pieces, I feel like I can fill in the gaps where I need. I'll order a couple more things. And then once I get my final like capsule wardrobe together, maybe we can just walk through everything and you guys can see that. But let me know what you're shopping for, what stores you love. If you have a place where you find like really great jeans that you love for like a decent price, let me know. I love a Goldie, but I have so many old a Goldie jeans are just in storage and boxes and I just can't get to them right now. So I don't feel like rebuying the same things that I already have, you know what I mean? But I need jeans to kind of get me through these next few months. So let me know and I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed, bye.